Good evening. My name's Tristan Fiddler, and it's my extreme uh, honor to be here tonight to introduce this evening's performance. I'd like to make an acknowledgement of country. We acknowledge the traditional owners of this country, Wujuk Buja, that we are standing on today and honor the Wujuk Nunga elders, past, present, and emerging. So, to talk about this evening's performance, I uh, occasionally write reviews, and I once wrote a review for a defunct uh, website now where I compared Benedict Melita's music and said that it gave me a peaceful, easy feeling. I, I just felt kind of ashamed about that, you know, obviously the reference to the Eagles, but that's what it made me feel. And uh, I was always worried that if, if Benedict ever read that, he would be upset, but he, he's actually <laughs> uh, doesn't mind the Eagles, so there you go. Um, but that, I think I'm not a musician, I don't know how to play, so it always seems like a kind of magic to me and how to describe, how to write about music, how to get across the impact that it has. And I think in terms of Benedict Melita's music, uh, alongside a peaceful, easy feeling, uh, other words I would use, a sense of calm, a plaintive feeling, reflection and memory, and just appreciating the details around me. So tonight is a return to live performance by Benedict and his band, a return to music making and songwriting after a hiatus of about seven years. So tonight is a celebration uh, of 20 years of Benedict making music and performing it. 2002 is when his uh, first EP was released, Scales. And last year marked two releases, two new releases, a three-track EP called Passage of Time, and an album of classical German songs of German 19th century composers, songs of which Benedict grew up with and sings in the German language. So there's been eight albums released between 2005 and 2013 and three EPs. So the, like the first EP, Scales, had a brown cover to it, but all the other albums had a white cover and really stripped back except for the details of what the album was called and the musicians listed. And that always caught my eye, I think, the first time I bought a Benedict Melita CD in the local music uh, section of 78 Records. And, uh, you know, I think it speaks to uh, an aspect of Benedict Melita's music in that it's not about, you know, the kind of promotional aspects or adornments. It's about being kind of direct and simple. But not simple in that way. I think it has impact. So tonight's show provides us with scope to look back and to take in 20 years of Benedict Melita making music and forming music. And you've all, as you've come in, received a commemorative booklet which collects the evening set list and the lyrics of the songs, a practice that Benedict never, used, never did before with the albums, so I, which I think is overdue because his songwriting ability and his lyrical uh, mastery, I think, is great to look and read and reflect on. You've also, would have doubt, no doubt, have seen the uh, photographs by Darren Clayton, which document these 20 years uh, and seeing the changes over time with Benedict and the musicians who played with him. And it's a slideshow in chronological order, and it can be viewed in the break of tonight's performance as well. And so I'd advise you, if you hadn't, didn't get a chance to, to during the break, to see these elegant black and white photos and the way they take time, the passage of time, uh, and the collaborations over the years, the shots that Darren took during non-musical outings, road trips to the Gliding Club in Beverly, a, photograph, a, photogra a photography and plain air painting trip to the sand dunes in Lancelin, and summer swims at City Beach. So with the shared experience of everyone in the room tonight, I'm sure we can piece together the map of Benedict Melita and making music, but I was a, a late fan. I sort of, sort of came in with 2008's Continuous Talking and then followed the albums after that uh, every year in terms of an amazing run of releases, including Timesheet, White Marble Heyday, and Singleton. But the one I return to the most is The Magical World, released in 2012, 2013, sorry. And from my understanding, Benedict's songs overall are personal and factual and focus on particular moments and people in time, often amalgamated and compressed as one can do with the creative act of songwriting. So without knowing that personal history, I can only connect to the music with my own history. And so a song that I always return to is Dead Deal. And there are names listed in that song that I never recognized, but I gathered were skateboarders. And uh, the only skateboarding I ever did as a kid, I had a black skateboard with the 1989 Batman insignia and I would just sit on it and roll down the driveway. That was my extent of skateboarding. 
But I think the, the song and the music, it, it lets you in and um, in the way that it describes becoming familiar with skateboarders, this, this whole world, this magical world, um, I relate to it and connect to it in different ways. I connect to it in the sense of why we're all here tonight, uh, to see the music of Benedict Melita and to feel a sense of community and belonging and that we've all kind of vibed with it and connected to it. And to watch these uh, wonderful people make music together for you tonight. Um, I'm conscious of the time, so there's a few housekeeping things I, I want to talk about in a moment. But to me, to talk a little bit more about the songwriting, you know, a song can last from two minutes to three minutes to seven minutes long. Uh, it can be returned to easier than a two-hour movie or a 400-page novel. The amount of times when I get hooked into a song and I just keep playing it over and over again, exhausting it in a way. Uh, and you can indulge your imagination and fill in the blanks between the gap of what is there and what it produces in your own sense of self. And so talking to Benedict uh, in the lead up to this uh, event and, and finding out his process, that the songs are written in his head often when riding his bicycle, a mental activity that eventually finds form once it's written down on paper and is worked out on the guitar. And I felt very fortunate to sit on one of the rehearsals uh, that have been uh, taking place in the lead up to tonight's performance with the other musicians, Jonathan Brain, Julian Bolita and Rosie Howsmith. And it's just fast, it was fascinating as a non-musician to just watch them work and to follow Benedict's lead, his direction, uh, but the fact that there was, I don't know, uh, space allowed for everyone to contribute to refine the music that's being played for you tonight. I think I wrote down in my notes at one point, Benedict said, find as much room as you want to one of them. And I think I would want to share that to you as well this evening that as you're sitting here listening to the music to find the room in which to connect with and engage with the music. Um, so, yeah, tonight's performance is about creating an atmosphere, creating a sense of concentration that you might not find in a, a public house and the interruptions and the things that can kind of take uh, away your focus. So it's great that we're all here tonight uh, here to witness this reunion. And it also uh, emphasizes the hard work that's gone into rehearsals and reactivating a group of people playing music together. But this is also a step forward. With youth, there's often more free time and chances to just hang out and play or you know, sit on a skateboard and roll down a driveway. But whether it is global pandemics, uh, raising a family, work and life commitments, or just the general exhaustion of not wanting to go out on a Saturday night, it's kind of harder to find the free time. So that you're all here this evening is a, is a major, I think, step, as is the band uh, playing tonight in terms of reaching out, catching up while relearning the chords and structuring how the songs from the past can be delivered. And this reaching out extends to your presence here tonight to return and reconnect with the music of Benedict Melita and its live performance and connect it to your own lives. Find as much room as you want. So a few housekeeping notes before we get into it. Uh, the, tonight's performance will be in two halves with a 15 minute uh, intermission. Toilets you might have seen are by the front doors. Uh, the slideshow by uh, Darren Clayton will be played during the intermission. It's about 80 images in about seven minutes, summarizing 20 years of musical co collaborations and good times. Tonight's performance will include new arrangements of a number of songs, some of which the musicians assembled have not played previously. Album versions going back over 20 years are sometimes quite different to what you'll hear tonight but all the songs can be heard in the usual online locations. Except for the sample of new material that you're going to hear, of material in preparation for Benedict's next and ninth album. The songs are all written and ready to start being worked on with a crew, but a few will be played for the first time in public tonight by Benedict for you. So we're looking back, but we're also looking forward. Please note that this evening's show will be filmed and recorded. Audience members will not be filmed, but please make sure your phones are on silent so that the performances can be captured uninterrupted. You've been emailed by Benedict about this evening's show, but if you would like to join an email list for periodical notifications of shows and releases, please contact Benedict by replying to the email or through his Bandcamp page, and I'll make sure that you are added. So uh, after the show, some of us will be going to the Juanita's Bar, which is on Rockaby Road for post-concert discourse and drinks around 9.30 to 11. So can I just ask for a general vibe? I think uh, the booking is for about 20 people, but is, uh, you know, how many people would feel like going to Juanita's after tonight's show? Can I see a few hands in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
Thank you so much. But, you know, you're more than welcome. Um, so thank you for listening and please keep listening. The musicians playing tonight include Julian Bolita, Rosemary Howsmith, Jonathan Brang and Benedict Melito. <laughs>